PSA or the process specific antigen. It's basically a blood work. Um, it was developed at Roswell Park and we actually use it to screen for prostate cancer. Hi, my name is Ahmed Ali. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Urology at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. There are so many things that can affect PSA level. Benign enlargement of the prostate, just simply having a bigger prostate, means that there are more prostate cells that will just secrete more PSA. If some people have inflammation of the prostate, what we call prostatitis. Saddle activities, and what we mean by saddle activities as men, when we sit, we sit in our prostates. So activities like, you know, bike riding or you know, mowing the lawn or heavy exercise, like being in the gym. Sexual activity or ejaculation can also significantly affect PSA levels. So we ask patients to try to abstain from, um, you know, from, from all of these things that can spuriously elevate the PSA level at least three or four days prior. There are also some medications that can affect the PSA level. And in this case, we don't usually ask patients to stop these medications, but we adjust the PSA level if we know that they are on such medications.